In today's video, I'm going to show you the inside of a solar charge controller. This one was rated for 60 amps at 24 volts input, and basically it shut down at 10 amps, 24 volts input. The unit cost me about $17.95, something like that. And so I thought, uh, since it failed at 10 amps, and I really needed something that could handle more than 20 amps, that I'd just take it apart to see um, how it works and why it might have failed or shut down thermally. But anyway, this is the main circuit board, and I guess that's the, the driver chip for the uh, charge controller. And on the back are the MOSFETs. It looks like it's a half bridge configuration of MOSFETs, and they're pretty small with a small thermal pad. As you can see there, and the, the heat sink is like a, a piece of thin tin. This is the heat sink that was on the back, and those pads were touching the heat sink just about there. It also looks like there's capability to um, parallel up these MOSFETs for more load handling, but obviously you can see those slots are empty. So instead of having two sets of parallel, paralleled up MOSFETs, it's only got one MOS, MOSFET. So this does have the capacity to handle more amps, but obviously the, those are not populated. So what I, what I thought might be a 60 amp is probably not a 60 amp handling unit, because you can see the slots are empty. And when it shut off, running at 10 amps, I uh, felt the back of this and it was red hot. So the thing was obviously not coping well with keeping those MOSFETs cool. So, and that's why I decided to open it and see just what kind of MOSFETs and how big. And it looks like they're pretty small ones. Also, uh, these MOSFETs seem to be unmarked, so I can't really tell you what kind they are. They just have no markings on them whatsoever. And uh, here's like a, a, a regulator chip. And here's the LED, and here are the outputs. So you've got your uh, battery in, solar panel in, and load out right here. This thing was supposed to be waterproof, but um, it didn't exactly look waterproof. I mean, it looked like water would get right in it if it rained. Luckily, it didn't rain, so it didn't have any water in it. So there you go. Uh, the insides of a 60 amp. 24 volt solar charge controller that seemed to thermally run away when running a 10 amp load on a re on a reasonably hot day though it was keeping it in the shade but it still failed and here's your heat sink no fins or no nothing to increase its surface area to improve the efficiency of heat removal and that was on the back here's the front of it and um, with the on bu button as you can see there so uh anyway guys um folks uh i do uh appreciate you checking in on this and um uh, to see just what's inside one of these things i'm i was surprised how small uh, the mosfets were considering that this thing's supposed to uh, be able to handle 60 amps and really what i was trying to do was use an induction heater to heat this this, this cast iron teapot and that's when it when it failed on me Anyway, um, thanks for watching and uh, do please check back for more videos.